Hey guys, uh, this will be a video on how to get multiple trains in Ultimate Coaster as well as how to make them dual. So, uh, this is just learning the basics, I guess. And um, as you can see, I have three block sections here, which means I'm going to have three trains. So remember, each block section is worth one train. Now, if you have no block sections, there's still going to be one train because I guess there's no way to stop it. Um, but if you also have one block section, there's going to be one train. And make sure to hit restart every time you add a block section just so you get the trains loaded in. But if you have three block sections, see these three? You're going to have three trains. And that is pretty simple, I think. Um, also, you're going to want to have your brakes on a little bit of an incline. It doesn't matter what incline, but you're going to want to have them on an incline just so that they will go forward um, and yeah that's pretty much it so as you can see as this train clears that brake this train will start going because it is in the station and once it clears once the train in front of it clears that block brake it's going to start to go you can see this one started to go because it pulled out of the station and this one's going to start going to the next one right here and as you can see it went to the next one, and now it's going to stop right here because this train has not cleared the station yet. This one will stop right here, and then you will see this one take off. And yeah, that's pretty much it. It's, um, it's a whole system that they have on roller coasters in real life to keep them from colliding, and it's a pretty neat system. So on to the next part. All right, so now that you saw that, this is a more uh, advanced understanding of how the block brakes work. As you can see, my top tail dragster, um, one of them is sitting on a block break right now, and it's waiting to go on the launch track because it's waiting for this train right here to reach that block, and then this train is going to reach this block, and eventually this train will reach this block, and that means that this car can move up to the launch section, and then it can launch down the launch track. So you can see that train has moved, so this one will start moving forward. And then when it gets here, I have a hold time on this little um, launch track piece of one. And that will send it off. And yeah. As you can see. And there it goes. Pretty awesome. Um, anyways. That's just a more uh, advanced understanding of how it works and how multiple or a high capacity of trains can operate at once. Also, I do not have any brakes up here because I just don't think you need them up here because the um <clears throat> around the station they have I think six block breaks yeah six because there's six trains makes sense okay so uh let's move on to the next thing okay uh so this is going to be how to duel the roller coasters or just the scene of the roller coaster I guess <laughs> um so you're gonna want to have a um or, sorry you're going to want to have two launch tracks, right? Um, and they might not duel at first, but they will eventually sync up if you get the timings right. So I got my timings right for this one. So this one will pause on the launch track for a second and wait for this one to get here. You just got to time that up, I guess, a little uh, good. And then they'll launch it around the same time. And as you can see, they will kind of duel. And this is just a mock-up. I didn't really design this that well. It's very rough um <clears throat> it does not give a lot of air time might i say and look at them they're dueling um and that's pretty much it i guess um just make sure that you have both trains operating and that they sync up just get the timings right you can adjust the timings with hold time you see here and the brake settings are right here as you can see you can change it from launch normal brake whatever uh, just press this button. That's how you go to track, and then you press this button right here. And then you just modify it so you want block break, whatever, hold times. And yeah, that's pretty much it for this video. So um, I appreciate you watching, and um, you all have a good night, good day, whatever it is for you. Um, thank you for watching. Goodbye.